please welcome Joseph Quinn. I was here a few years ago filming, but it's been a while. My first time in Ghent. It's real nice here. Yeah, yeah. and a lot has changed ever since you came uh, to Belgium for the last time, because Stranger Things 4 came out, which is so amazing. So congratulations again on your portrayal of Eddie. Um, but I was wondering, Eddie is such a fan favorite character, and so many people love him. Um, when you were shooting the show, did you know that it was going to become this huge fan favorite character? No. <laughs> no, I couldn't have predicted uh, what it would do uh, for the show and for my life personally. It was, uh, it was more remarkable to see the fans' reactions to it. And I'm so grateful for it, you know. Yeah. yeah. What was the hardest part about portraying Eddie? Because it was a long shoot as well. You shot for about a year, right? Yeah, I think the fact that we shot during COVID felt like probably the biggest challenge. Uh, but the fact that the cars were so wonderful and welcoming, that made it much easier. Uh, yeah, I guess just the length of the shoot was a little tough. There's so, how many people are there at the end? Hey. Yeah. yeah, there's a big crowd and we'll do some audience questions really, uh, really soon. Um, but first I wanted to know, um, when you were on set, um, were you able to improvise a lot, or was everything already written in the script? There was room for improvisation. The brothers like it when an actor brings some things to the role. Um, so I think there was a lot of opportunity to make Eddie or other characters uh, one's own. Um, I think one of the virtues of Stranger Things, one of the best things about it is their willingness to cast people that are quite odd, you know, that, that maybe, I mean, no one could play Dustin other than Gator, do you know what I mean? And I think it's the same for so many of the roles in this show, that the Duffers really trust their actors, which is a great quality in a director. Um, Stranger Things had already been on the air for a couple of seasons uh, before you joined in. So, what was it like stepping into that franchise and then becoming a part of that series? It was very exciting. I was a fan and, like many of us here, watched the first season and was transported into this very imaginative and fun and curious world and to be able to participate in that and be invited was um, a, an extraordinary gift, yeah. Do you have any favorite scenes from the series? Yeah, I loved doing uh, that scene with Grace Van Dien in the forest, the Chrissy and Eddie scene. That was fun, loads. The Metallica scene was very fun as well. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you watched it. <laughs> so, after Stranger Things 4 came out, um, so many people fell in love with the character and your career has taken off really fast. And I was wondering, how do you handle fame and then suddenly being in the public eye so much? Because I can imagine that it can be quite a lot sometimes. It's very weird. <laughs> yeah, it's very odd. And I mean, the opportunities that have presented themselves to me as a result of it are uh, beyond my wildest dreams. But yeah, I mean, it's a bit boring to talk about, but yeah, it's certainly an adjustment, but I'm lucky the people that uh, follow me, for whatever reason, are very nice people on the whole, so I'm lucky. That's great. Um, so, when you pick your next role, um, what do you look for in a script? Um, what, what does have to be there in the script to convince you to actually play the role? Um, I think... You want it to be challenging. I think if you're doing something that feels like it might be relatively easy or something that you've done before, uh, 
that's probably the, the, the thing you should avoid. You want to go towards the thing that makes you uncomfortable on the whole, uh, because from that you grow, I think. Uh, so I'm looking for talent, really, um, as much as I can. Um, one of your next roles is going to be Human Torch in Fantastic Four. Well, people are excited, um, so is there anything you can uh, say about the audition process for, for Fantastic Four? Um, it's pretty straightforward, really, yeah. Um, I still can't believe it. It's mad. Um, but I'm very excited. We've got a great gang. When I spoke to Matt, the director he's, has a brilliant vision for it, and um, the gang that we've got doing it, I was, uh, it was a no-brainer. I definitely wanted to be a part of it, and um, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, is there anything you're doing to prepare for the role? Is there anything what? Is there anything you're doing speci uh, specifically to prepare for the role? I'll be setting myself on fire for real. Uh, every day. Method acting, great. Yeah, got a feeling, you know. Okay, I think it might be time uh, to get uh, some questions from the audience. Um, so, there are two mics over there. If you want to ask anything to Joseph, um, I promise it's not going to bite, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, just ask one question because there are so many people here and we won't really want to get as many people as possible uh, in line. So, just come forward, uh, say who you are, ask your questions. Maybe don't ask for hugs or autographs because we really, we really want to th get things going. Um, so let's get going. Um, we'll start over there. Ask your question. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm with Ghostbusters Belgium. I was wondering if you ever have encountered any stranger things, ghost-related. Are you superstitious, maybe, or do you believe in ghosts, stuff like that? Have I experienced anything ghost-related? Yeah. Um, weird. I've never seen a ghost thus far. Have you? Not really. I mean, we're doing a great job, so... <laughs> I mean, we're, yeah. we're the professionals, so... No, I wasn't drawing from anything on that occasion. Good, good. good. Yeah. Give I hope I never meet a ghost. Well, you know, they're not all that mean. Some are just there, you know, to protect, to help. Who knows? We'll see. It is a bit scary. Yeah, I think I've, it would I've be. been there and it, it is weird and scary, but it's not always bad. <laughs> okay, let's go to Thank the you. person over there. Um, I'm Amy, and my question was, what is your favorite movie and why? That's a very good question. Oh, it's a very difficult question to answer, and it changes, I think, daily. Uh, one of my favorite movies is a movie called The Big Lebowski, which is a little too, yeah, it's an amazing movie, um, which has a kind of cult following. It might be a little old for you, but um, <laughs> she's shaking her head. <laughs> um, but yeah, one day you should definitely watch it, if, if your parents allow it. Okay, over there. Andrew, uh, what do you expect? from playing the wrong human torch. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What do you expect from playing the human torch? What did I expect? I expected nothing from play, playing him, really. I think you shouldn't have any expectations in this game. Um, but I'm delighted with what happened, definitely. Very grateful for it. Thank you. Hiya. Um, you are playing roles in two movies that are set to be released this year. And I was wondering if you're excited or terrified for them to kind of PC by everyone here. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> My hearing's going, sorry. Um, you're set to be in two big movies that are going to be released later this year. Are you excited or terrified for everyone here to see them? <laughs> uh, the latter. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my name is Nina, and my question is, why did you choose Master of Puppets, and how did you learn it? Sorry. <laughs> um, why did you choose Master of Puppets, and how did you learn it? I didn't choose Master of Puppets. Uh, the grown-ups did. And I did what I was told. And I think it worked. Thank you. Over there. Hi, Teresa. Um, I was wondering, as someone who's a pre 
appreciate of the arts. What do you think of the evolving landscape of the West End theatre with theatre like Vaults Festival not being able to secure funds so that theatre is not accessible anymore? And what do you think should actors do that? Is this going to change again? That's a very uh, good question. I think accessibility in the arts is a problem that we're facing in all the mediums, but especially in theatre, it just feels unaffordable and cura curated to a demographic of people that want to uh, see old plays uh, performed again and not really be challenged. And I don't know what the solution is. I think, uh, I don't know what the solution is. I think we'll figure it out, God willing. Great question, though. <laughs> Thank you. Over there. Uh, hi, my uh, name is Jorvan, and uh, my question is, if it weren't for playing Eddie, if it weren't for getting that role, who else would you have liked to play? Uh, who else would you have liked to play as uh, well? It's strange. Vecna would have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Jamie would be furious. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Um, I have a question for Eddie. Uh, so you're playing Emperor Kala in Caracalla, sorry, in Gladiator. We know he wasn't very nice. Uh, in the first movie, it was Capra Commodus played by Brighton Phoenix, which you said you liked him and was very fond of him. Did you get to talk to him or have some advices for Gladiator? With, with Joaquin? Yeah. No, I didn't. Um, he's like the son for me. Yeah. I think if I looked at him for too long, I'd uh, injure myself. I, he's, yeah, I've always adored his work. Um, and yeah, the fact that, um, well, there's two emperors in the new one. It's myself and Fred Heckinger are playing them. Um, I really don't think I can talk about it at all. Because, yeah, they'll, they'll come for the people that I love. Okay, thank you. I hope you meet them. Thank you. Okay, over there. Hi, my name is Alexi, and my question is uh, from everybody of the French Games cast members, who's your favorite? Where would you get most of them? I'm so sorry, I didn't hear what but you said. Who do you get best along of the French Games cast members? Who did I get along with the most? Yes. Oh, um, the, all of them really. I still talk to uh, Natalia, Joe, and Charlie, Maya, Gaten. No. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Um, yeah, no, we're, we're all still um, good pals. You know? That's very lucky. They're a lovely gang. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, so, my question is out of all the characters you play, is there one that you thought you were struggling to get into character for the most when preparing for that role? All of them. No, uh, any? Is there one all of them. Thought? That's my answer, yeah. They, they, they all have um, their own challenges and you're uh, doubting yourself. I think, for, in my experience, throughout the whole experience, but it's very uh, rewarding when it's over. Hopefully, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, next question over there. Uh, hello, uh, this is my daughter, Gael, and uh, she wants to ask uh, if you know a few words in Dutch. I'm very, um, uh, no, I don't. I'm willing to learn though. Do you want to teach me one? What? Do you want to teach me one? Uh, she wants to teach you one. Okay. <laughs> um, who has it? It's me. Um, how are you doing? Does it? Okay. Who, who are what? <laughs> who has hoods? Who has cuts? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm doing well, thanks. You're on the good way. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive, Dutch. Congratulations. Uh, so let's go to the next question over there. Um, uh, hi, I'm Jim. Uh, and I was wondering if you played Dungeons and Dragons in real 
course I do. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No. You? Uh, yeah, I'm learning it. It's good fun. A lot of my friends play. Um, but I, yeah, I don't. I don't. Over there. Uh, hi, my name is Noah, and I was wondering how long did it take for you to learn Master of Puppets? Boy, um, probably I was practicing it for about four months, I think. But yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, this side. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you could meet your 10 year old self and you would have to choose one big moment in the future that's coming up or from the past that you're really proud of what is the first thing that you would tell yourself so the situation is i'm talking to my 10 year old self yes and i'm telling him your proudest moment of, of, of myself now or my 10 year old self no from now. From now. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud From to... From things that are coming up or things that have happened? Oh, I think working with Ridley Scott, if I'm honest, yeah. I'd, I'd be, I think my 10-year-old self would be proud of that, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think. <laughs> okay, okay uh, hello, I am Jennifer and I'm actually trying to be an actress myself. Uh, it's my big dream. And I wanted to ask uh, if you know any like good universities in London or England for screen acting, and if you know any tips to get in the acting world. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I went to drama school, I found that helpful, and it's not for everyone, but uh, I found it like a really valuable uh, experience. So, there's, and there's many drama schools, not all in London, uh, but there's some great ones in the UK and in Europe, so I'd say Google them. <laughs> yeah, apply and read plays and yeah, be curious, I guess. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Hi, um, I was wondering who or what did have an influence on you wanting to become an actor? Who or what did have an influence on you to want to become an actor? Oh, who or what? I think just watching films and uh, being exposed to that world really was what made me want to be a part of it. There's no particular moment that I remember where I went, oh God, got to do that or anything. No, it's just a gradual curiosity, I guess. Okay, thank you. Ask your question. Hi, I'm Anastasia. Uh, I want to ask you, how did your first day of uh, being on set of Stranger Things go? How did it go? Uh, well, quite badly. Um, at the end of our first day, we went into lockdown for uh, COVID-19. Um, and my uh, brain made me think that it was a complete conspiracy because they were going to recast me, um, which obviously didn't turn out to be the case. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a tricky day. Um, I mean, we all remember that. COVID wasn't fun, but uh, it's over now. You're welcome. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Nicola. I was just wondering, is there any role that you would particularly like in the future that you would aim for? Particular role that I'm aiming for? Yeah, or would dream of? No, not really. No. Yeah, just see how it goes. Okay, thank you. Quick question. Okay. Over there. Uh, I hope it doesn't sound too self-centered or selfish, but could you wish me a happy birthday because next week uh, it's my birthday. I think we can all wish you a happy birthday, can't we? <laughs> but birthday to you. Past. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So, so Would you love to play in? What franchise would you love to play? Like Star Wars, Avatar? What kind of, uh, what would I like to be in Star Wars? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.
Over there. Um, hi, I'm Pauline. And are you with Gaten best friends in real life too, or is that only a stranger thing? One more time, I'm so sorry. Are you in a real life best friends with Gaten too, or is that only a stranger thing? See, this is why I hate being English, okay? Because like, I, I can't come here and expect, I can't um, hear what you're saying. I'm so sorry, and I know I'm in Belgium. I should speak Flemish, but I'm sorry. I can't hear what you're saying, sorry. It's okay, but are you in real life friends with Gaten too, or is that only in Stranger Things? Maybe, <laughs> no worries. Uh, maybe ask your question in Dutch and I'll translate it. Do you speak Dutch? Okay, go ahead, ask it in Dutch and I'll translate it for you. Okay, um, were you and Dustin, who play, uh, Gaten, who plays Dustin, were you as good friends in real life as you are in the series? Yeah, he's a very good friend, yes. I'm what so you, sorry. It's okay. What do, you like about, uh, what do you like most about him? What does he like as an actor? He's funny, he's a funny boy. That's, yeah, very funny, very kind. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Uh, let's go to the next one, over there. Um, hello, my name is Niels, and um, a friend of mine, is, um, it's her birthday today, and um, she couldn't be here, but she's uh, really obsessed with you. <laughs> so, uh, would you maybe sing for her? Her name is uh, Indie Scare. I think we're all sung out, but what, what is her name? Indy Scare. Elise? Indy. Indy. Yeah, Indy Scare. Indy. Happy birthday, Indy. Happy birthday, Indy. Let's go to the next question over there. Hello, my name is B-State, and my question is, are you coming back next season? Uh, I do know, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> Good question. Okay, thank you. Nice try. <laughs> Over there. Hi, uh, my name is Clara. I wanted to ask you, since you're playing Johnny Storm, who are you most excited to interact with across any Marvel character you can choose? If I could pick any Marvel yeah. character, I'm pretty happy with the one I'm playing, to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, Thor would be fun, I think. Spider Man would be quite fun. Spider Man, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Almost tall. <laughs> and yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question, please. Hi, my name is Sarah, and my question is who is a role model for you? I think you have to repeat your question because I don't think you can do it. Speak, it. speak up a bit louder, please. Thank you. Who is a role model for you? Who is a role model for me? Yeah. You. <laughs> That's a lovely question. Thank you. Okay. Um, over there, please. Hi, Mr. Quinn. My name is Carl, and of course, we would like to thank you for your role in Stranger Things. But I would also like to thank you in name of all the Metallica and metal fans in here for letting the younger generation, including my 15-year-old daughter, fall in love with a group and a song that's been around since the 80s. I know you were able to meet the members of Metallica. How was it for you to meet them? Oh, well, thank you, first of all, for saying all that. That's nice. Uh, Mm. It was amazing meeting them. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was a fan of theirs when I was younger, and uh, being able to meet them and like, play with them is mad. Still, I can't believe it. Quite. <laughs> can't believe it happened. Thank you. Okay, let's get the next question from that side. Uh, my question is, uh, how many? How do you? Like, how did? 
did you make uh, the scene with the bats attacking you? What was it like making the season of what, sorry? Um, how did you make the scene with the bats attacking you? How did we make the scene with the bats at the end? Um, it was a very cold evening. Uh, and there was lots of me jumping around, hitting things that weren't there, looking quite silly. And so a lot of computer effects, SFX, um, <laughs> and a lot of gator laughing at me. Okay, we don't have so much time anymore, so uh, please keep your question as short as possible, but go ahead. Okay, hello, my name is Maui. Uh, do you plan to play into Jamie's new metal band video clip one day? Do I plan to do something with Jamie yeah. one day? For his new metal band. For his new metal band? Yeah. He hasn't called me. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> go ahead. How did you feel when they say that your character will die in the end? I was upset. <laughs> yeah. But it was a brilliantly written sequence. Um, but I wanted to stick around longer. But um, wait, what can you do? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Joe. Uh, my question is, if you didn't play Abby, which role would you have played in Stranger Things? Uh, still back now. Oh, that's, that's indeed a nice choice. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Hi, okay, uh, my name is Dana, and I was wondering what your favorite season of Stranger Things and why? Uh, probably the Metallica sequence is my favorite. Yeah. Or... Uh, the running up that hill sequence was, was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. The one, Sadie's one, it's great. Okay. Hello, how are you doing, first of all? Um, not to brag, but I'm like an amateur musical. <laughs> and I know what I like about acting, but my question is, what do you like most about acting? I think you have to repeat your question. I just can't <laughs> worry. So, not to brag, but I'm an amateur musical. Thing, and I know what I like most about acting, but what do you like the most about acting? What do I like most about acting? Yeah. Um, I think the variety that it provides in a life is amazing. Um, yeah, the unpredictability of it makes it an interesting I time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Joseph. Is there a certain actor you like to play with in a movie or TV show? Oh, um, well, I suppose, yeah, we were talking about Joaquin Phoenix. I'd love to, uh, yeah, I mean, that would be amazing to work with him. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Hello, uh, I'm from the radio station Eminem, and my question is what is your favorite song at this moment? Oh, God. Uh, right now. I, I, I can't think. Right, yeah, I'll come back to you. And your all time? Uh, all time? Uh, oh, let's dance, David Bowie, probably. Yeah. <laughs> nice choice. Nice choice. Ask your question. Hi, my question is uh, Do you have a comfort TV show that you watch when you're feeling sick or sad? Like mine is Friendly Things, obviously. And do you have one? Uh, Peep Show? It's a. It's a British comedy um, from the noughties. Okay. That cheers me up. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Hello, uh, the daughter of a good friend of mine, she's a huge fan of yours. And my question is, would you mind to say a quick hi to her? Her name is Romy. Her name's what, sorry? Romy. Romy. Hi, Romy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's take one more question from there. Go again. If you have a bucket list, and if yes, what would be on top of it, of your bucket list? My bucket list, what's at the top of my bucket list? Yes, 
Well, uh, I'd like to jump out of the plane at some point. With a parachute. I'd like to do that. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Oshin, uh, and I would like to ask you if you have any future goals in your life. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you'd hope so. Uh, yeah, like, I guess, yeah. What? Skydiving right now would be good. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Hi, my name is Luna, and I wanted to know what your most embarrassing um, time was on set. The most embarrassing moment on set, what? For, for me personally? Yeah. In front of the, I'd say like all this, in front of the, <laughs> I, think, I think every day wearing that wig felt pretty embarrassing. Yeah. 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 So there's Okay, ask her a question. Sorry. Okay. Um, if they would make a movie adaptation from a book you really love, which character from which book would you like to play? Let's play a character in a book. Which I uh, I've always thought Kitchen Confidential, Anthony Bourdain's book, would make a good screenplay. I'm totally wrong for him. I would never be cast as him, but I think someone could play him very well. That could be a cool movie. <laughs> okay, we're going into overtime, so let's keep it as short as possible, but go ahead and ask your question. Uh, hello, I'm Rocke, uh, and my uh, question is, what do you like doing in your spare time? What do I like doing in my spare time? Uh, I lo love to cook. I like uh, to exercise. I like to see friends, I like to go to the theatre. That's loads. Yeah, thank, thank you. Okay, we're taking two more questions from each side, so please go ahead and make it count. I'm really sorry, but I don't really have a question, but I just wanted to say that you're doing a really great job of what you're doing, and I just want you to be proud of yourself with every role that you get and that you can score. And I think for everyone in this room that we are really, really, really excited for all the things showing the next couple of days. Thank you very much. Okay, my question is, um, if you have a favorite character of Stranger Things, and it can't be yourself, who will it be? My favorite character in Stranger Things? Oh, I think Eleven might be my favorite character. <laughs> What's your favorite character? It's also Eleven. <laughs> okay, last question from there. So, if you could pull up any heist without like any consequences, what would you steal? If I could... S s okay. <laughs> like anything. Anything. Oh, Jamie's hats. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the very last question of the session, so go ahead. Hi, it's Stranger Things season 4. We didn't get to see any scenes between Eddie and his uncle. If you could create a scene between Eddie and Wayne, what would the scene look like? Oh, them having dinner, probably. It'd be quite interesting to watch them have dinner. Well, thank you for all the great questions. Again, please let me hear your warmest time for Joseph Green.